CSI, the Center for Surgical Innovation, um, CSI as we call it, uh, is a facility, uh, a groundbreaking facility, a new facility at the institution that will allow us to innovate in, sur in a surgical environment. We really wanted to construct a facility that would allow us to investigate disruptive technology and procedures rather than do incremental change. The Center for Surgical Innovation as a facility will consist of two operating rooms and two procedure rooms. It's along a linear uh, set of suites, two imaging rooms, one for CT scanning and one for MRI. It's the only facility, only operating ro uh, room in the world at this time that has both MRI and CT scanning. So one of the very interesting aspects of the center is those are on rails, or on, mounted to the ceiling, if you will, and they move along tracks. So the MRI can go into either OR, and the CT scanner can go into one of the two ORs, what we call OR2. OR2 will then enable uh, procedures that could use MRI and CT, which is very unique. Now those instruments are useful uh, for procedures such as neurosurgery, where you need very fine detail information about the um, about the brain. It's very exciting because of the prospect of dramatically improving surgery. With CSI we can offer services we wouldn't otherwise be able to offer. And pediatric spine surgery, certain types of brain tumor surgery, um, spine cancer surgery, and eventually some vascular programs that are very distinguished. Uh, so it has direct value for our patients. And what this facility uh, holds the promise for is to really reduce the morbidity of the operation. We want to get rid of the problem, but cause as little harm in the process as possible, as little surgical damage as possible. And using the CT scanner and the MRI as our eyes, and using indirect approaches rather than direct line of sight, um, it opens up a whole world of opportunities to make the surgery more efficient uh, more safe with a faster recovery and maybe even better outcomes and better survival and longevity for patients. So it's very exciting. The benefit to an individual patient actually could be being able to have an operation that they may not otherwise be able to have without the technology. In particular for brain tumors or spine tumors, certain types of conditions may not be safely treated without reliably imaging things during the operation to guide the surgery. So it would certainly benefit those patients. This is, this is really exciting to, to Dartmouth Neurosurgery, that much of the, the, the interests, the work uh, that our faculty and our residents have, have uh, participated in for a long time is going to be enhanced and facilitated by having this capability here. Our research interests have had to do with computer-assisted, image-guided surgery, uh, essentially navigating in the surgical field. And to have intraoperative imaging like intraoperative MRI, intraoperative CT, enables you to enhance that computer ability. Uh, it lets us do more things with navigation and it lets us validate much of the work that's been done. So th this, this will bring to our patient population the, uh, the latest uh, technology and in turn the, the latest surgical capability. Particularly for some conditions like brain tumors, this is really an essential step to providing them with what we know to be the most effective surgical intervention. You could not do this without this facility.